all right so today has been mostly pretty much tackle day i've kind of lounged around got stuff to eat get all fat and sassy eat a bunch of bread but i wanted to show you something that's pretty unique about this year's rig i know you guys everybody has their own preference in boat and you know what there's a lot of good bass boats out there and quite honestly the reason i choose the boat that i run is number one is because i like the actual product but far above that is the people i deal with a boat company that is actually run by fishermen not designed by fishermen so they think here we speak the same language we understand what we're talking about uh, so they build a machine that is best for people like me that like to fish so you think if you're going to have a boat company you would want to have people in that boat company that do things that fishermen do right You'd be surprised how many companies are not like that. I've been a part of those companies before, and that's why I'm where I'm at now. So I'm not even going to try to sell you on the fact that my boat is better than yours. But there is something about this daggum boat that's pretty daggum cool, and it's different. Nobody else is doing it. There's not another boat uh, manufacturer on the market that's doing it, and I think it's really cool. And I just wanted to show it to you because I think it's worth noting. Of course, you know what the boat looks like. Most of the time, people ask me what it rides like. I don't know how do you gauge a ride. Like, it rides good between on a scale of one to 10, a 9.9. .9. That's my how I gauge what it's gonna ride. But something's real cool. Look at my rod lockers right here, okay? Can you see that? See my rod lockers? Look how they open now. So check this out. This is pretty neat. Some of you guys already know this about a Falcon. Sometimes some of you guys may not, but check out the way that my rod lockers open usually they open this way right usually you take you grab here and pull it open that ain't how these work you're gonna see why here in just a second isn't that pretty neat you see i'm up they open almost like a ferrari door usually they open this way not these they go this way and there's a specific there's a specific reason that they open from front to back and not from left to right and you're gonna see it like it makes like i don't know how no, no one ever thought about this 40 years ago pretty neat and it looks cool too right there's a very specific reason that these rod lockers open this way front to back obviously like i said it looks cool but that is not the primary reason or even the reason that they thought to do this at all one reason is you notice how my rods i intentionally left my rods on my deck when i did this video they never fell out of the boat try that in your boat that lifts left to right i guarantee you, you'll end up with a rod on the ground or best case scenario you'll end up with a piled up mess over here in the corner like this and everything gets all tangled up and nasty so when they open front to back like this they stay exactly like how they're supposed to they won't fall in the water and it keeps them from getting as tangled as they would if you had a left to right opening rod locker so that's one of the advantages but there's a lot more it gets a little deeper than that okay so i'm sure you noticed the other thing about them opening from front to back is that I have access to my rod lockers from outside of the boat. So if I need to get something, let me show you. If I need to get something outside of my, my rod lockers, I'm gonna spin this guy around, all right? So let's just say I wanna get my rain suit out because I know it's about the rain, all right? Or it's cold outside. I don't wanna wear my rain suit all morning long. So what I'm gonna do is I know I keep my rain, su my rain suit in my driver's side rod locker, right? I don't actually put rods in the side. So what I'll do is I'll go in here rods stay on the deck they stay right there on the deck they didn't move didn't do anything i'm able to get my my rain suit out tackle worms crankbaits whatever i need to get out life vests from my rod locker without having to get in the boat because you know how it is at a boat ramp a lot of times it's muddy now you're tracking mud in and out of your boat furthermore who wants to just get in their boat every time just to get a single pack of worms and get one rod out to retie it when i'm out here doing tackle so that's a huge time saver when it comes to doing tackle and it just makes sense i got access to everything from inside or outside of the boat 
It just makes it super easy to put rods in or out of your rod locker, whether you're in your boat or outside of your boat. So that saves time. It keeps you from uh, tracking, you know, depends on where you're at. If you live like in a, I don't know if you park your boat like in a cow pasture or if you've got dogs and you've got dog boo-boo all over the yard. You ever got that in your boat? I don't have to really worry about tracking a bunch of, I know that's an exaggerated example, but just go with it. You don't have to track stuff in and out of your boat because you can get your rods in and out, whether you're in the boat or out of the boat. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not going to go elaborate on that. I'd have to say that makes uh, this boat pretty special. It's so simple, right? Like, how did we not think of that years ago just to open the rod lockers the opposite way so that your crap doesn't fall in the water? That's it. That's all I wanted to show you was how my boat lockers open up kind of cool like a Ferrari. <laughs>